Jacob Kilburn and Brandon Jenkins squaring off for three five-minute rounds of professional mixed martial arts action. All right, Florida, we are ready to get the evening started, so please welcome the first fighters. In the blue corner, Brandon Jenkins. Brandon uh, Jenkins coming to you from Las Vegas and Syndicate MMA. He calls himself the human highlight reel. Considers himself a striker. He's got eight knockouts to his credit. He's also got three submissions. So he's a pretty well-rounded fighter. Going to be interesting to see him make an impression on the bosses here tonight in this showcase fight. And his opponent, Jacob Kilburn. Jacob Kilburn, guys, I gotta tell you, I'm familiar with him. He used to be with the boys over in Las Vegas for a while. I will tell you, when I spoke to one of his coaches last week, coming outside of a restaurant, he shared with me that he thinks Kilburn loves his right hand a little too much, says that he has to give a little bit more faith into the wrestling, that that's something they've worked on, which is mixing it up well. I will tell you one other thing about Kilburn, which whenever he throws a combination with his hands, you can be sure a kick is to follow. With that, we will take a look at our tail of the tape for this first showcase bout. Brandon Jenkins, three years the elder. He's also three inches taller, but it's Jacob Kilburn with the reach advantage. Lillian Garcia gets the night started. Well, good evening, everyone. We are live from Hollywood, Florida with the 2021 PFL Playoffs. Two divisions remain, and they're looking to punch their way to the PFL Championship. And now we begin the evening with a showcase bout in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a striker. Standing at six feet tall, he officially weighs in at 156 pounds. In 19 professional bouts, he has a record of 13 victories and six defeats, with 11 wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Brendan, the human highlight reel, Chicken. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he specializes in judo. Standing at 5'9", he officially weighs in at 154 and one half pounds. In 12 professional bouts, he has a record of eight victories and four defeats with six wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, here is Jacob the Killer Kilburn. Your referee in charge, Gary Copeland. We've got a killer fighting in our first bout of the night and also a killer fighting <laughs> yeah. in our main event tonight. So we'll bookend the evening with two guys called the killer. Kilburn is in the red Rob trunks, one, Brandon red? Jenkins one, in the blue. black and gray. Let's fight. Jenkins in that loose southpaw stance, Kilburn Orthodox. Low kicks exchange right off the top. Oh! They're getting right to it there in the center of our PFL Smart Cage push kick from Kilburn. He's got a tight clinch there. Jenkins is going to need to use that, bring those knees up a couple times. They don't need to be hard right there, Randy. They just need to connect. Absolutely. And there, <coughs> Kilburn catches one, almost able to put Jenkins on his back by catching that knee. Kilburn doing a good job with shoulder pressure here. He's got his right knee inside. I'd like to see his left knee. I think he'd have a couple more options. That right knee's almost trapped him. He's gonna be able to hold his opponent there, but I don't know that he's gonna be able to sweep until he can get that leg free. Doing a good job though. Heads in the right spot, shoulders pushing in. Knee to the body there from Jenkins as he tries to work his own back off the smart cage barrier. Successful. A one-two just missed. It. There's the low calf kicks that have become the hottest move in all of mixed martial arts lately. 
you get stung with any of those, Chael. Uh, you know what? In practice, one time by Benson Henderson, and Randy, I swear to goodness, I thought he was trying to kick me in the thigh, and he kept missing. The end of the workout, I said, Benson, you didn't land a shot all day. He goes, yeah, but it hurts, doesn't it? That's how I learned. Oh, he was aiming for the cap. I didn't even know it. Didn't know the technique. These two lightweights swinging away once again in the center. Wheel kick just misses for Kilburn. Overhand right caught Jenkins behind the ear. Kilburn very fluid with these strikes. Ooh, that was a nasty check. Jenkins seems very committed to being a relaxed fighter. But Randy, there's a point where you're too relaxed. At some point, Jenkins is going to need to get a little offense off, not just try to show us that these strikes aren't affecting him. Yeah, he's for the most part trying to be a counter striker. He's letting Kilburn control the center of the cage and really dictate the action. It's almost an oxymoron, a commitment to relaxation. Yes. <laughs> and hey, I'll give it to him. He's going the strategy he's going for. Oh. oh. The, the relaxed fact, it is working. He is absorbing these shots, but at some point, you got to beat the clock and you got to impress the judges. Impressive flurry from Kilburn there. And we've seen Jenkins switching stances back and forth. He's orthodox for now. We saw that left hand he landed just a minute ago. Was on oh, oh, big, big knee. knee. That's it. Kilburn is down and out. Brandon Jenkins timed it perfectly. Switch step jumping knee. What a finish in his PFL debut. Wow, now we know why they call him the human highlight reel. Apparently, it pays to stay calm and relaxed out there, huh? <laughs> he knew exactly what he was looking for. He saw that opportunity. He left the ground about a feet there. Even LeBron James would be impressed at that elevation. I want a full-time job. Attaboy. You hear Jake in there saying, I want a full-time job. And that's the beauty of the PFL regular season playoff and championship format. You get signed by the PFL, you know that at least for that next season, you're active, you're scheduled. Oh! Boom. Wow. Really nice switch kick to the to the flying knee. Travels a lot of distance, gets there and lands it right on the chin of Kilburn. That switching knee is very confusing, guys. Watch what you have to look for. Boom. You guys remember the karate kid? It's the whole reason Danielson knocked that guy out, because he changed legs. This is the same thing in all fairness. Look, one leg comes, but boom, it comes from behind. If you are in Kilbourne's spot, you defend the first knee successfully. Surprise, the other knee's coming at your face. The crane kick was illegal, OK? But that what? flying knee is definitely allowed under the PFL Mixed Martial Arts rule. I beg to differ. I'm pretty sure I'm missing four front teeth from a crane <laughs> kick. <laughs> Brandon Jenkins victorious. There's our Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Jenkins only landed eight of them, but one was a big one. Official call next. Showcase action off to a great start here in Hollywood, Florida. And a reminder, playoff coverage continues on ESPN2 and ESPN+. Plus. It's four winner-go-home semifinals at 10 Eastern. Main event, undefeated Mavlid Haibulayev against Great Britain's knockout artist Brendan Lochnane. Plus, 2019 PFL light heavyweight champion Emiliano Sorti takes on shoe face Antonio Carlos Jr. What's on the line? Nothing big, just a spot in the 2021 PFL championship. Lillian Garcia makes this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at 2 minutes and 56 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, Brandon Jenkins. I'm here with our winner, Brandon Jenkins, 155-pound showcase bout. You came over immediately after, and you said, I want a full-time job. And that's exactly what these showcase bouts are for. Do you think you impressed Ray Seffel enough to be signed to the official roster for season four? I uh, hope so. <laughs> I just want to make a good first impression, you know? Well, <laughs> three minutes in, you made a pretty good first impression. Here, turn around and, and walk me through this replay, okay? This was a nice little switch knee that you ended up landing. Oh, excuse me, here's a kick first. Tell me what you were seeing from Kilburn. Um, he has a nasty 3-2. Oh. Um, he likes to do like a check hook. 
And uh, what I did is I threw a naked kick, and he, uh, he checked it. And then uh, I looked low, and I, and I need high, I guess you could say. I looked low, but I threw the same kick, but I switched in the middle and threw the knee. Because he likes to throw the check hook and put it kind of tucked behind his, uh, his, uh, his uh, bicep. So, yeah. Here's that handiwork again. Oh, oh. that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you traveled a nice little distance there. Is that something you worked on? Um, we were working the switch jab uh, to the knee in case he shot in, because he always puts his head on the left side. Uh, but no, I got, I got plenty of flying knees, knockouts, spinning elbow knockouts. Uh, that's how they call me the human highlight reel. I got weapons everywhere. We'll add one more highlight to the collection. And I tell you what, I'm impressed. I don't know if Ray Sefo is. Congratulations. Thank you so much. A big win at 155 pounds.